Christine Brown is married. This is her wife star tied the knot with David Woolley in front of 330 guests in Utah over the weekend, according to People. Quote, it's a fairy tale. It's everything I never thought I would have. I get to walk down the aisle to David. Him just looking at me the way that he does, it's a dream come true, the 51-year-old told the publication. Christine went public with her relationship with David in February 2023 and announced their engagement in April. This is the reality star's first legal marriage after spiritually marrying her ex, Cody Brown, back in 1994. Christine has previously alluded to their relationship being a better fit than her last. In September, she wrote on Instagram, quote, It's really nice to be with someone who doesn't have any special requirements before we get married. I love being loved for just being who I am. I love you at David Woolley with the hashtags marriage, soulmates, love of my life, and blessed. And back in April, she told People Magazine, quote, David treats me like a queen and tells me I'm beautiful every day. I've never been in love like this before and the world seems like a brighter place with him in it. Christine has continued to document her life post-divorce from Cody on TLC's Sister Wives. In a recent episode of the show, she prepared to celebrate her 50th birthday with a party and revealed that Cody and her former sister wives, Mary and Robin, would not be on the guest list. So McKelsey and Avalon and Aspen are over. We're going to plan my 50th birthday party. Mom's 50th birthday is the Oh my gosh, that's right, you're gonna be 50. I know, so, that's so adults. It's a big birthday. I love living so close to my girls. We do this all the time. We hang out all the time as much as possible. Oh, 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 we should do a 60s, no, a 50s. We should do a 50s hey. theme for your 50s birthday. A 1950s party? What? Yes. Definitely. So costume required. So it's more fun to dress up. I'm just saying. Ice cream bar. Yes. Uh, old fashioned soda. Sundays. Soda fountain. Ice cream bar. All of it. Sock hop. Yes, all of it. Janelle's going to like. Janelle wants to come really bad. Yay. So I already talked to Janelle about coming back from Flagstaff with me the week before. Hey. I, I won't be inviting Cody or Robin or Mary. Um, and the kids that I still have contact with and that I do things with, they'll all be invited. Yes, but not everybody. All right, toasting time. So many of our family gatherings were tense. I didn't feel like I was really a wife. I just felt like a second-class citizen a lot of the time. So I really am only going to invite people that I really want to hang out with, that it's going to be easy and relaxing and no drama. So Grandma Janelle is your ex-husband's mom. I think she's an ogro. And I think that dad's best friend is a yes, because... No, dad's best friend's a no. I think it's a no. Dad's best friend and dad's mom are It's no. sticky, it's sticky situation. You know, it's, it's just, it's weird to cross over like that, invite Cody's mom, I would never invite him. But I just, I really love them a lot. I love a lot of Cody's family. I can invite a certain, a certain <laughs> celebrity. I'll see. Well, we'll see if I can get the contact you get information. The contact information. Uh, that's great. Talk to their publicist. <laughs> you should. To celebrity crush. I have a big, huge celebrity crush. That's all there is to it. And McKelty loves to harass me about it. And she got me a pillow with him on it and a blanket with him on it for Christmas. Well, um, we didn't say names. <laughs> I'm gonna blush. I blush every freaking time. It's so embarrassing. Okay, listen, Shamar Moore. When he says baby girl, mm, I melt every single time. He's just beautiful. <laughs>